Noify's scheduling tools can make it easier for you to inform your employees on what they're supposed to be doing each day and have everything pop up directly on their smartphone app so they don't need to search through jobs when they're trying to check in. We'll start in the corporate calendar. To add a job to the calendar, you simply click the day that you would like to start the job. This will pull up a type ahead where you can type in the name of the project that you'd like to schedule and choose the phase from a list. It automatically plugs in the start date and the end date and you can also just plug in a number of days so you don't have to choose the end date and this adds it to the calendar. You can move this job around by clicking and dragging it. This will move the start and end date. But you can also adjust specifically just the end date by clicking the end of the job. You'll see the cursor changes and it lets you adjust. And the same goes for the start date. This is just so we can get an overview on where we stand on these jobs in general and when our company will get to them. But we can also schedule our actual crews on each of these jobs by using the job board, which you'll see at the top of the screen. This will break down the calendar into a week-long view instead of a month-long view, so you can get a better idea of where everyone's going to be each day of the week. To expand a job and see the open phases, you click on the bar next to the name of the job. It'll show you the names of the different phases that you need to get done, and if you need to add an additional phase in this screen, it should be under the Schedule More Jobs at the bottom of the screen. Uh, I'll go ahead and put more 1306 phases in here set the dates for my interior drywall, go ahead and select these dates, and you'll see it inserts it into the board for me. I can also adjust the dates of each of these phases from this screen by clicking the date range that you see to the right side of each of them. But now that these are set, I'm going to start scheduling in who's going to be working on these. This is where I can select my employees on the left hand side of the screen. I'll go ahead and grab a couple of different employees here. And we can choose to either schedule full time or individual days. If I choose a day, it'll just pop up for the selected day, in this case Tuesday. But I'm going to grab my list of employees here again. And actually, you can see that I can click on the name of the individual crew if I want to grab everyone there. And I scheduled them full time, which means it's going to take every day of this phase and schedule them in for those selected days as opposed to individual ones. Now, if I ever need to unschedule workers, I can just click their name and it'll pop up an X, and I can just delete right from here, or I can click on where it says full time to delete individual days, so that way I can pick and choose when I want this to show up on their smartphone. Next I'll cover how this is going to be affecting their smartphone app. And I'll just pull up my phone here, and you can see that I'm actually in here as Paul, who is currently checked in on a job. Uh, that's what this spinning wheel means. It's just a way to let me know that this person has checked in for the day. And I'm going to show you how different jobs can show up on their smartphone based off of what I scheduled them for. So I'm going to add them to this project here, to the labor of materials. And then in the smartphone app, uh, if I click where it says jobs, it'll actually pull up a list of my different scheduled jobs here. There is the 1306 that I'm scheduled on, as well as the labor materials that I just added to his schedule as well. So this is just a way for Paul to get more information on what he's supposed to be working on. And you can see that framing is already popping up on his app, uh, probably because I had already entered time for him. But I'm going to make sure that it still shows up on Wednesday and Thursday for him. So if he moves between days, it'll still show up as something that he's supposed to be doing. These types of job board actions are really just a way to make it easier for each employee to find a job on their phone. But if you ever need to get more granular scheduling and choose specific hours as opposed to uh, just what job you're working on on each day, you can use the Add New Allocation button at the top left corner of your scheduling screen. This is where I could choose an employee and I'll choose my job. Uh, I'll pull up this 1306 again. And I can actually set the individual hours as opposed to just, you know, scheduling for, in this case, it would be the 19th. I set it up for yesterday. Uh, but this way, when this shows up on their smartphone, I'll pull this back. Uh, if I look at Paul's schedule for the 19th, and this is where you can change the date at the top of the screen here. In my scheduled jobs, I see specifically 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. as opposed to just working on this job on Monday. So it gives Paul a little bit more information on when you expect him to be there. And you can get more information on this in the resource day tab of any of your, uh, of your scheduling screen. Uh, I'll pull up Paul's schedule just for the sake of example here. Looks like it's already set to Monday. And I can see that set up for 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. for him. 
the last page we'll cover on this scheduling uh, tutorial is the last check-ins. Basically, when people check in on the smartphone, we do take their geolocation. So this is a way for me to see, oop, looks like Paul checked in off-site. Uh, and I can see the actual location as opposed to just his distance from the job site. It also lets you link right into the job so you can see where we drop the pin for the site. So that way, you know, if he's off because the geolocation of the job is off, you can get a little bit more info there. I'll go ahead and check him out. So now when I check this again, you'll see there's two entries, and I can check his in location and his out location, and we can approve his timesheets accordingly. Thanks for tuning in, and if you have any other questions, you can reach out to us at support at and we're happy to help. Thanks, and have a nice day.